We're back with another manager simulation here on the channel and today ladies and gentlemen you're in for a treat it's twin brothers 30 years old let me introduce you to the perfect potential 50 current ability twin brothers I was floundering because I forgot what I've called them we'll learn in a minute let's jump in it's the Campbell brothers it's Luke and Matt Campbell and I have put them at competing rival championship clubs it's Norwich and Ipswich Luke Campbell there he is with his suit and his face and his plethora of red attributes he's rubbish his hidden attributes are pretty good he's got a great ambition and professionalism loads of controversy mid loyalty sportsmanship down at three Matt Campbell is his twin brother ish I mean yeah they're twins I mean again loads of red attributes um exactly the same hiddens I believe yeah looks like it I couldn't remember if I had or hadn't. Matt Campbell's preferred formation is a 4-4-2. Luke, on the other hand, prefers a 4-2-3-1. They both have the same personality of fairly professional. They are both managers. They've both got varying levels of attributes. However, they will progress differently at different rates. It's going to be interesting to see. Well, let's move the current ability and potential ability. There you go. There's the current ability at 50. It's going to be interesting to see who moves on quicker and who does better in their career. If any of them, will they, do, will they do great? Will they get to the top? Or will they just flounder around in championship and lower league obscurity? Well, they're at Norwich and Ipswich for the first season. So, should we see how they got on in their first season in charge of professional clubs? Well, they're both still in charge of their respective clubs, which is actually fantastic. Now, Matt Campbell has had a pay rise from 5k a week to 7,750, whereas Luke is on 6,500. Matt Campbell, then, has moved up to 61, whereas Luke is at 58. If we compare the two, well, it's all about Matty Campbell, isn't it? He's much better with his level of discipline. Oof, Luke's level of discipline at two. Um, motivating slightly better. Termination's worse, though. Uh, much better all round in terms of the coaching ability, but I think that's probably because he's just started to improve and he's like three attributes further on. How did we do then in the championship last season? Was it Norwich or Ipswich that finished higher? Well, Norwich went up. So first blood to Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell has won promotion at the first time of asking. He went up via the playoffs with Norwich City. Fair play to him. Ipswich, on the other hand, finished down in 14th. So not ideal. Ipswich this season are expected to finish 12th. Brentford have come down. Look at that, 16 to 1 on. And Norwich are also meant to, uh, they're proposing Norwich will get relegated. So Matt could be a victim of his own success because if Norwich go down, which I expect them to, he's probably going to get sacked. Whereas Luke, if he manages to finish around mid table with Ipswich, he's probably going to keep his job. So, you know, onwards and upwards. We're not going to jump in every single year because there's over 40 years to simulate through. But for the first few, we will, of course, be going year by year just as we get a little bit of a foothold into the experiment so 2025 here we come <laughs> okay so luke campbell's now work, uh, manager of woking in league two um so what's happened there then sacked as manager of ipswich after losing confidence with the dressing room or the dressing room losing confidence with him shall we say he finished 12th exactly where they should have finished and he was sacked in february so how did Ipswich do in the second half of last season? Um, they did win a few towards the end, which probably did propel them up to mid-table. Three on the spin the last three games of the season. Two draws and a defeat in the previous three. And then two, three wins and a draw in the month of March. So he got sacked in February. And you can see why. Uh, basically on a slide since December. Oh, unlucky, unlucky Luke. He is now the manager of Woking down in League 2. So he's... He's dropped considerably. He's on £1,700 a week. So he's he's taken a horrific pay cut. He's only got 75 current ability. Whereas Matt Campbell, still at Norwich, ladies and gentlemen, at 83 current ability, 11, nearly £12,000 a week, 10 times what his brother's on is not the right maths because that would be £17,000. About five, six times what he's on. And he survived in the Premier League. Arsenal won the league as well by 11 points. Fair play. Arsenal actually won the Premier League both seasons. United finishing in third. That's unrealistic. Chelsea finishing in seventh. That's unrealistic. Everton finishing in 11th despite all the points deduction. Fair play. Brentford going down. Would not have expected that. Luton staying up. Fair play, Luton. And then Arsenal again winning the, champion, uh, winning the Premier League. Man City have won and second Champions League. No managers have moved from the big three there. Eric Ten Hag's just been sacked. But Norwich finished 16th in the Premier League, so that is very impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident that he's going to do all right at Norwich. He's, 
he's spent well. He's spent all right, hasn't he? He's certainly spending Norwich's money. But £36.5 million on a good few players to keep them up in the Premier League and did keep them up. Fair play. In terms of the season preview, well, it's got worse. It actually was 18th last time. This time it's 19th. So best of luck to Matt Campbell. Luke Campbell, on the other hand, at Woking, 15th is where they think they're going to finish. And I don't know why. I've got a horrible feeling that neither of them are going to be here at the end of next season. I feel that uh, Matt, having been there for two years at Norwich and keeping him in the Premier League, I think they're going to be in the relegation zone. He's going to get sacked. And I think Luke, Luke's, Luke's having a hard time at the start of this experiment. I think he will come good. I think he will find his feet. But for the time being, Luke's having a bit of a torrid time. Well, we are going to jump through to 2026. But before we do that, if I could be so cheeky as to ask you all kindly to subscribe to the channel. There's lots more other experiments on the channel in varying different forms. And there's lots more coming. If this is your kind of thing, I suggest you subscribe and stay abreast of what's going on. Thank you very much. 2026 then. Here we go. Well, so as predicted, Matt Campbell has been sacked. And he's moved to 94 current ability, to be fair. 18 in terms of motivating he's a motivating kind of guy sacked as the manager of Norwich Luke Campbell on the other hand his brother well he's only kept the job at Woking they're still in League 2 he finished 14th what did the media think 15th he exceeded expectations did he this season you think they're going to go up third what's he done oh he's ab he's had an absolute field day in the bloody um transfer market he's absolutely smashed it ladies and gentlemen where did i mean they finished mid table but they think they're going to finish third and that's because of the squad that they've got at their disposal so luke campbell take yourself a point luke he sold 20.5 million pounds worth of players and bought 16.5 million pounds in that would be with ipswich None of, the, none of that real value is going to be with Woking. It's negligible amounts at Woking, isn't it? As you can see there, 195k this season, 30.5k. 30 Ryan Bartram, what a signing he is. He looks like he's rubbish. Bartram as well, not even Bartram. Got, got his name wrong. So, could he go up? We will, we'll, well, we will be jumping through, but... Let's not gloss over the fact that Matt Campbell has been so unfortunate as to be sacked by Norwich City. Just says sacked on Boxing Day. Oh, Merry f***ing Christmas, Matt. Can you believe it? Delia. Is Delia still in charge? I don't know. She'd barely even... He still... Matt, do you want some uh, leftovers from the Christmas dinner I've cooked? Oh, yeah, thanks, Delia. Yeah, well, take it home then, you f***. Sacked. Jesus Christ, you cold bastards. At least let him warm his dinner up. Where were they? Poch is in charge. You know, he's got a bit weird when I go that high pitch, ladies and gentlemen. Mauricio Pochettino is in charge of Norwich City in 2026. It's already gone mental. Can you believe it? Well, they're still in the Premier League. Arsenal have won it three years in a row. And so who went down? So it was Burnley, Leicester and Southampton. Fine. We've got... We've had three teams, actually, Everton, Norwich and Southampton, all level on points. And it was goal difference that kept Norwich up. Man City second again. Pep's still in charge. Klopp's still in charge of Liverpool. United have got Simeone. Chelsea, who've they got? Well, they've got no one at the moment because Pochettino was sacked. Jim Fraser came in for about four months. And then Didier Deschamps has just been sacked as well. But Norwich have stayed up. But until Boxing Day, I assume it was an absolute shambles. And it wasn't great. Losing to West Ham was the foul nail in the coffin. And let me tell you, it was a shot in the arm, wasn't it? Two wins on the spin, then a win in the FA Cup, three draws, basically going an entire month undefeated. Uh, Tottenham with the three defeats in a row in the Premier League, but oh, actually then two draws and then loads more defeats. Only a couple more wins and a draw in the last few games of the season. But they did enough, just enough to stay up. But who cares about Norwich anymore? Norwich is no longer part of this experiment because Matt Campbell is unemployed. Well, in 2027, will he have a job? Will Luke get promoted? I mean, I'm building it up like it's the end of the cliffhanger of an episode. We're going to jump straight there with the power of editing and you're going to see it very, very quickly. They've both left. So it's all kicking off. Right, Luke Campbell, 93 out of 200. Matt Campbell, 103 out of 200. Where do we start? Luke's at Leeds. He parted as manager of Woking... He got promoted. He did get promoted in 20... Finished third in League 2. Um, automatic promotion. Yes, that's automatic promotion. He went up in third, as the media predicted. And I tell you what, he's deserved that promotion. because he's, he's toiled away. He went down to come back up. And now he's at Leeds, 
who are 13th in the championship, ladies and gentlemen. And Daniel Fark got sacked. I don't know why uh, we've got no um, end date there. It does this sometimes, doesn't it, in Football Manager? It just says sacked. Uh, should we have a look at Daniel Fark? I mean, he's wanted. Who's want, who wants him? Fulham, apparently. They, they bid zero pounds. Obviously, he's unemployed. Milestones. Just sacked yet. Yeah, just sacked as manager of Leeds. So, yeah. Don't even say he became the manager of Leeds. Just sacked. <laughs> Right, so Luke Campbell is in charge of Leeds and has been for 33 days after getting promoted with Woking. What a season it's been for old Luke Campbell. How's his twin brother fared? Well, he's now the manager of Southampton, ladies and gentlemen. And the milestones are, he got hired on the 2nd of the 7th, 26, literally a year ago today. So he was unemployed last time. And when we, where were we here? Didn't seem, didn't seem like there was a bid in, but he's just going to become the manager of Southampton. Fine. Well, I mean, yeah, whatever. We'll let it go. It, who knows what happened? He got promoted... As ch he went up as champions. Sorry, I've just been thrown by that because I didn't expect him to have a job for a year. Um, literally a year to the day. And we've got yearly auto saves on. So how did he get a job the same day without having a bid on him? I don't know what's going on there. But he's won the championship. Let's just move on from that. Fine, whatever. It, the game's glitched out yet again. Seven points they won the championship by and Leeds finished fifth. And that's not enough, apparently, for Daniel Fark. They told him to fark off. Don't even need to uh, beat that one because that's his surname. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You've been waiting for a bad pun. There it is. So, Luke's in charge of Leeds. Matt's in charge of Southampton. Matt's in the Premier League. Luke's in the Championship. 2028. Here we come. Well, fair play. They're both still where they were. 16's the difference in the ability now between Luke and Matt Campbell. And as you can see, Luke is getting his attributes up there, doing pretty well indeed. Matt, on the other hand, is just going from strength to strength. The whites are turning into yellows. The yellows, well, they're not turning into greens yet, but they're closing in. £32,000 a week. He's doing very well at Southampton. Well, our leads in the Premier League, they're not because we've not ticked over, but they have gone up as champions. 10 points clear of Fulham in second place. My man, Luke Campbell, has only gone and won promotion with Leeds United. His milestones are hired as Leeds manager, promoted as champions, manager of the season, to match his brother's champions and manager of the season accolade from previously. Of course, Matt did go up with Norwich to the Premier League, but Luke has also had another promotion under his belt with Woking. I know it's in League 2 and it's not the Championship to the Premier League, but there's still two promotions. That was automatic. The other one was by the playoffs. So I don't know who's doing better so far. I think he's much of a muchness, in my humble opinion. But he's finished top half with Southampton there. Man City have actually finally got a Premier League under the belt, but Arsenal have roared back with another goal. 17 goals has won the Golden Boot there. It's for Erling Haaland. 17! It's a low-scoring season, but ninth. Matt Campbell has finished ninth. He's done very well in the transfer market. Who's he bought? Tino Livramento from Newcastle. Well, he's brought him back to the club. Fine. Uh, Ivan Ponder. Fine. Vitinho from Standard. Robert Terrace. He's a regen. He's 19. He actually looks pretty good. 1.6 million from Shrewsbury. He's only just arrived, does he? No, maybe not. No, 27, 28. Yeah, no, he's been there a while. What's his ability? 149? Not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, nothing in over here. 52 million out. 94k in. Fair enough. And of course, Leeds, their transfers, well, they've got they've, they've raided Hull. It's, it's all been about um, in and amongst the championship, isn't it? 17.75 million for Harry Clark. I'm not too sure about that one. Ricardo Marchitza, 30 years old. I think we need, he's already listed. Well, I think we need to get some um, younger players in, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? I think they need to sign some younger players for their squads to help build them up. But they're both in the Premier League. How will they fare now they're both in the same league once again? It's this time, instead of Norwich and Ipswich, it is Leeds and Southampton. In terms of the best player in the game at the moment, in the year 2028, it is, of course, Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland and Jude Bellingham. Bakaya Saka and Jamal Musiala making up the top five. Vinicius Jr., Joshua Kimmich, Phil Foden, Martin Odegaard, and Asan Udrago make up the top 10. He's good, isn't he? So we're going to go to 2029 in a second, but the season preview... Oh, we've not ticked over, so we can't see. Oh, I wanted to see if they thought they were going to go up. Does it tick over about the 2nd of June? Because it, 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 it ticked over last time, hadn't it? I'm just simulating forward just a couple of days. No, fine. Whatever. It's 2029 then. This is going to be a long video, ladies and gentlemen. I am 22 minutes into the record, and we are still in the 2020s. I make this might exceed an hour. Okay. Well, it's all kicked off here. Luke Campbell's still in charge of Leeds. We love that. We will... We will... Let, let's look at Luke Campbell now, shall we, actually? While we're here, Luke Campbell, Leeds United. 
He finished 16th in the Premier Division, 38 points. Southampton were 11th, but he did move away from Southampton. The Leeds, was he busy in the transfer market? Well, he was. Uh, Jordan Mace, 19 years old. Hello? Hello? 186 potential ability. £9 million from Montpellier. 17 appearances. When did they sign? I barely even played him. 28th of the 6th. Amazing. This guy's just arrived for free. He's wanted by Brentford. He's got a test with 184. Enrique, they spent £14 million on him. He'll be good. 189. Oh my God. Leeds are going to be a powerhouse. How did he finish 17th? Rui Vieira. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Another one. 176. Uh, they signed him for 10 million. What a transfer window they've had. I mean, they spent 23 million on bloody Kalichi and Ilacho. I don't even speak. Ren and Lodi from Marseille. What a transfer window. I can't believe it. Fair play, Luke Campbell. He's done an absolute sterling job there. And to the staff shortlist. So the staff shortlist shows us here. And Matt Campbell has moved to Tottenham. So he departed as manager of Southampton after agreeing terms with another club on the 26th of the 7th, before the season even started, to be fair, actually. So he stayed at Southampton for a season in the Premier League, kept them up, finished ninth, and he's gone to Tottenham. They obviously sat their manager. Um, oh, Ernesto Valverde resigned on the 18th of the 7th, eight days before Matt Campbell joined. So he went to become the manager of Spain. Okay, fine. Not a problem. And Matt Campbell, he's won the Europa League. Matt Campbell's won the Europa League. Fair play to him. Five Europa Leagues for Tottenham. Three of them in this experiment. Okay, did, look at that. Six times in a row English teams have won it. And we're going to quick look at the Champions League. Arsenal have won one. Man City have won a few. Barca and Real Madrid making up the other numbers. And so Matt Campbell at Tottenham. Did he make any good signings? 19-year-old Cesar Romero, goalkeeper. 190 potential ability they have absolutely started going mad here 20 years old here albert villa 151 disappointed with that one calvin stengs for 38.5 minutes 30 years old not interested largi ramazani <laughs> what a name 81 million pounds that was before was that before him that was i think that was before him finn davis campbell 22 years old aussie new zealand and aussie or kiwi uh 70 million pounds 174. Pretty good. Jeff Cox from Southampton. From Southampton. His old club. He's only gone and raided his old club for Jeff Cox. 171. Current ability. Potential ability, sorry. Kenan Yildiz. Real person. And Jürgen Ekelenkamp. Okay, so we're at Leeds and Tottenham. I'd be interested to see if they manage to sort of keep up at those two teams I feel like they're really sort of laying down a foundation I think Luke Campbell's probably going to get a bigger job soon because he's going to overachieve with Leeds with those players that he's got and I would not be surprised if he went to a big team a bit like Matt Campbell is at Tottenham because at Tottenham on this game they always do pretty well don't they so I wouldn't be surprised if we see Matt Campbell win the Premier League with Tottenham inside three years and I wouldn't be surprised if Luke Campbell is either at a, at a big club with him or and competing or he's gone abroad to somewhere else so we're going to go through, so what we will do is with that prediction, I'm going to go through three years now to 2032 because we do need to jump on because otherwise this is going to last about three days, this video. 2032, off we move. So there's a few things to sort of unpack here. The first of which is Luke Campbell is at PSV and he's only he's at 152 in terms of his current ability, which is only nine attribute points behind his brother, Matt. He was at Tottenham still. So we're going to go in at Luke Campbell. He left in 2031 to come to PSV. So he, so milestone. So he, he departed as manager of Leeds, hired as the PSV manager. He's now the Dutch Cup winner. So how did he do with Leeds? Steve Mandanda is at Leeds. They just finished eighth in the Premier League. And so they've just finished eighth in the Premier League. So if we have a quick look at the domestic leagues here. At 16th, we saw. And then 9th, 12th. And then he's left at some point here so he did, he did all right he did all right with them to be fair and psv second second in the area of behind ajax on goal difference oh god goal difference three goals was the difference final only a point further back ajax would make that five in a row dearie me well He's got unfinished business in the Dutch league then. I hope he can get on and, and do something else. In terms of his transfers, sold a lot, bought a lot. What's his biggest transfer? 26 million, Sergio Camello, 31 years old. Oh, Quinton Timber, real person. Paris Elmansdorp, real person. 
at this point, at 2032, we need some new gens. Norwich. Oh, here we go. Luke Dalton, 24 years old. 160 potential ability. Okay, I'll, I'll let that one go. Yeah, real person. Oh, not a, new, no, not a real person. Um, Paul Apoku, 146. Yeah. Oh well, um, you can't win them all. Okay, so off we look at uh, Matt Campbell, who is at Tottenham Hotspur and his... Well, they've won the Premier League. They've won the Premier League. So we jumped three years. So the season we were here, they won the Europa League, hadn't they? So they qualified for the Champions League. Then the following season, they finished fifth with Arsenal winning the league. Then they finished third on 71 points, 17 points behind Arsenal with Arsenal winning the league. And then this most recent season... 10 points clear of Arsenal. They've won the league, signing some good players, signing some very good players, but very decent money. Between 10 and 20 million in Brazil, to spending between 10 and 20 million to a Brazilian team, you are always going to be getting a player that could be looking at 160, 170. It's fantastic, the Brazilian league, for getting young, good young wonder kids. Jeremy Doku, they signed um, for £60 million and they've, and they've loaned him to Feyenoord. Okay, I don't get that. Fernando Fernandez from Penarol. Bet he's good. 149. Disappointing. Thought, it, thought about, I'd get more. Jorge Pintos from Nacional for free. 20. <gasps> for free! Look how good he is! Oh my God, 169 out of 178. What a player. And Ibo Carrasco, 24 years old. 145, meh. Benjamin Farias. 21, 2.9 million from Colo Colo. He looks half decent. 143, current potential ability. Disappointing, to be honest, with some of them. However, Jorge Pintos, George Pintos, whatever you want to call him, the Uruguayan. They're free as well. They're free. Can you believe it? Right. We've jumped three years. What's Matt Campbell also done? So he won the Europa League, won the Carabao Cup in 2030, won the FA Cup in 2030, so the domestic cup double, Premier Division champions, manager of the year. And do you know what? He's won all those trophies and been so much more successful than his brother Luke. He's gone and won the Dutch Cup. Yet the gap between them in terms of attributes has closed up, closed dramatically. We're going to compare them. I and mean, of course, Matt Campbell is far and away much better. But some of these, where you're looking at them and going, oh, look at that. It's all goalkeeper distribution. Who cares? Who cares about that? The level of discipline, of course, is the biggest disparity. But actually, everything else, tactical knowledge, determination, a few other things, favour Luke Campbell. The wages, of course, favour Matt Campbell. £110,000 a week. Over five times what his brother Luke's on. I mean, 20k a week still a nice, nice old bit of wage, isn't it? Okay, so 2032, we've just jumped three years. I think it's time to jump another three, don't you? 2035, here we come. Okay, so neither of them are, are where they were last time. Luke Campbell's gone to Dortmund. Matt Campbell's gone to Liverpool. Where do we go first? In terms of, I mean, he's, he's on over £124,000 more, is on Matt Campbell. He's pulled clear again, 17 attribute points. Let's go with Luke. Let's go with Luke. So the milestone state. He did become the champion of Eredivisie. The Johan Cruyff Charles, is that just the charity shield? I think it is. So the Eredivisie champions in 2033, he then in November became the manager of Dortmund, which he's just finished fourth, Bayern Munich winning the league unfortunately, every single season. Um, he did finish fourth there as well. I would anticipate that Dortmund, he came in, um, oh, Sergio Conceição just left to go and become the manager of Lazio. Then he's come back and become the manager of Schalke. Okay, so Luke Campbell did win the Eredivisie. He's doing pretty good um, in terms of his his uh, overview. He's won the DFB Pacal as well. Let's let's just let that be known. I've, I don't know if I mentioned that. He's brought one point one billion pounds worth of players, but he sold one point four eight billion. The highest fee spent was Tarek Lamptey, who's no longer in the game. But Jose Carlos fetched him ninety seven million pounds from Leeds to Newcastle. It was actually one hundred thirty four million. So it must have been ninety seven flat fee rising to one hundred thirty four. Fair play, fair play indeed. Well, best of luck at Dortmund, Luke. Can you topple Bayern Munich? Probably not. Matt Campbell, though, has moved to Liverpool. When did he move to Liverpool? 2034. So he was at Tottenham for six years. So they won the Europa League, won the FA Cup, won the Premier League there, 2032, Manager of the Year. Yes, then he was the Community Shield winner. He won the FA Cup again in 2033. And then he won the Community Shield again in 2033. And then he left at the end of 2034 season to become the Manager of Liverpool, where he spent one year at Liverpool He's entered the English Hall of Fame because he's won the Europa League with Liverpool. So they will be in the Champions League next season. Matt Campbell finished second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang about. Last time we were here, this is what happened. The following season, he finished fifth. 
Liverpool finished in second. The season after that, Liverpool down in sixth and he finished in second. He then left Tottenham from finishing second, three points behind City, to go and take the Liverpool job. And then Tottenham have won the league by a point with Liverpool in second. And the most recent fixtures, Liverpool did win, as did Tottenham. Where did it all fall apart? Well, Liverpool did lose two of their last five games. <sighs> Deary me. Well, he's won Europa League with Liverpool. So both... Managers still yet to win a Champions League. Matt Campbell's won the highest domestic league possible, the Premier League. Luke Campbell's won Eredivisie. They're both currently in different leagues. Luke's over in Dortmund. Time for an outfit change. I want to get a Dortmund shirt on. There you go. Cheeky little mid-video costume change. Representing the BVB for Luke Campbell. Come on, Lukey lad. Can you beat Bayern Munich? AC Milan's back in the draw. I'm feeling two years. I don't know what's feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling two years. I'm thinking 2037, because then we'll do another three to get to 2040. I think he's a three and two split for the next two stop-offs, and I'm feeling two now. I can't tell you why. Just a gut feeling. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? Never mind. Hey. Right, so Luke Campbell's gone to Manchester United. So when did he go to Manchester United? He left Dortmund of his own volition, 2036. So he'd left and went to become the manager of Dortmund as we saw. He finished fourth. And then he won the DFB Pokal. Fantastic stuff. He won the German Super Cup. And the following season in 2036, also the same season as the Super Cup, he became the Bundesliga champion, P manager of the year, departed Borussia Dortmund to go to Manchester United to win the Europa League. Very reminiscent of old, his brother Matt, who went to Liverpool and won the Europa League. Bundesliga champions, well, Bundesliga champions for one season and one season only. And they went on goal difference. It is absolute carnage in this experiment. Goal difference, deciding league titles all over the shop. Absolute scenes. And Matt Campbell's a free agent. Milestones. I can't believe it. Premier Division champions in 2036. Manager of the year in 2036. FA Cup winners in 2036. Champions League winners in 2036. The treble, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Campbell came to Liverpool on the 28th of May, 2034. And by the 31st of May, 2036... 732 days later, he had won the treble. And then seven months later or whatever, he was sacked due to the club's poor league position. I am appalled at Liverpool for that. Sam Jousey, shave that moustache off. You look like a serial killer. What's happened there? Why have we only got four Champions League places? And three of them, Man United have won the Europa League, so that's an extra Champions League place. Why have only three teams gone up into the Champions League? Because AC Milan have won a couple, representing. Um, Arsenal have won a few. Man City, Tottenham, Tottenham and Liverpool both in the final, reminiscent of the other year, 2018-19. Um, and... Liverpool won. He beat his old club. He beat his old club in the Champions League final and then he was sacked the following season. I can't believe it. Oh, wait. Wait. The finals between Man City and Newcastle. Eddie Howe's the manager of Manchester City uh, and, yeah, Newcastle champions, Man City fourth. So another Champions League place will go to them, almost certainly. Okay. Luke Campbell finishing eighth with United winning the Europa League. He's going to have to kick on. Alex Scott is the Manchester United captain at 33 years old. He's been there for a hell of a long time. Signed for £42.5 million. Lovely to see. Just because I've got him on my lead save. And he's great. Okay, so 2037 is where we, where we are. Now, I did say I wanted to jump three years, but Matt's not got a job. And he's almost certainly going to get a job in this coming season. So, 2038. My instincts were wrong. So, Luke Campbell at Manchester United. And how do they do? Uh, Europa League winners, yeah. Then eighth again. Disappointing. Qualifying for the Conference League. Liverpool won the league. Leeds are up in second. Bloody Sam Jousey. The foundation's laid by Matt Campbell. Sam Jousey's uh, reaping the rewards. And hang about. Steve Mandanda is having an absolute whale of a time with Leeds. He's won two Europa Leagues. Um, they've got Rosenblad, who is absolutely insane. When did he get signed? 20, 29, 30. Signed by Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell signed him, and Steve Mandanda's captain and one of best players is has been there. Michael Skoko. Don't tell me he was signed between 27 and 31. Oh, he was. For five and a half million pounds. Jesus Christ. The foundations these guys are leaving. Leeds have just finished second. Steve Mandanda's like laughing all the way to the bloody bank. Probably going to become a club legend at this point. He's already an icon. And the two best players, the captain and vice captain, was signed, and the key player he is as well, Michael Skoko, was signed during Matey Boy's tenure. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely 190, 187. 
Alexandre, when did he get signed? If you tell me, you tell me he was signed between 37 and 31. <laughs> the best three players. Oh, and Jollyon. Fine. Where who? Someone who wasn't signed back for £82 million, pounds, though. Someone who wasn't signed by them. I'm, I'm sorry we're stopping in on Leeds for so long. £115 million pounds out. £113 million. Marek Hanakak. Okay, when was he signed? For 6.25 million. Right, he'd long gone. Fine. Steve. Steve did that himself. I'm just wanted to see if some of the players that they've sold has helped fund some of these players that they've brought in. £312 million pounds out. Paul Gunn for £120 million. He came through the Youth Academy. So you can't claim... Um, What's his name? I don't anything to do with it. That being said, he did get into the team here. Don't know why he wasn't playing at all beforehand, but he got into the team. And did all right. And did all Paul Dunn. Paul Gunn, sorry. He's been here, there and everywhere. Villet, Villet Svedberg. Uh, Wisdom Emmy. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Matt Campbell, then, is it Sporting? Hired on the 7th of the 12th. Um, sporting CP are fourth in the Portuguese Premier League. Should have finished third. Who was the previous manager? Uh... Lupos Kozel, who left, is going to become the manager of Sevilla. A bit of a step back for Matt Campbell from Champions League winning Liverpool. And, you know, it is what it is. 176 to 189 in terms of current ability. They're both going to get to the 200, of course. They are. They're 44 years old. Let's go to 2040, see how they're getting on. And they've both moved again. Luke Campbell's now at Inter Milan. Oh, my God. He left He left United to go to Newcastle. Now he's come to Inter. Um, departed as manager of United. Become the Newcastle manager on the 28th of the 6th. Spent 18 months at Newcastle. Got sacked. A couple of weeks later, hired as the Inter Milan manager. That's that's no um, no great shake, is it? Inter Milan manager. And here I am, representing the current Serie A champions, AC. It's time for another wardrobe change. Right, representing Inter Milan. And our boy, Luke Campbell. Matt Campbell, however, he's gone to Real Madrid. I can't, I can't put a Real Madrid shirt on. I do not have one. But he's at Real Madrid. So he left Real, uh, Sporting and went to Real Betis. Let's have a look at his uh, milestones. So, left on the 2nd of July 2038 to become Real Betis manager. And then he's, he was there for a season and then he went to Real Madrid and he's won the Spanish Super Cup and he was the manager of the year even though they finished second behind Barcelona. How's he manager of the year? Luis Enrique was, um, is in charge of Barca. RB Leipzig have won a Champions League. Man City have just beaten Villarreal. I'm just a bit confused as to how he got manager of the year. He's at 197 in terms of his current ability. He looks fantastic as well. Luke Campbell at Inter also looking fantastic. And as you can see, so many green attributes there. You've seen these grow from red to white to yellow to green. So I think it's been quite nice to insert them in. It took a few minutes beforehand, but I hope you, in hope you appreciate that little detail I've put into the video just so you can see the progress as a coloured snapshot as we move through. If you, do, if you have appreciated that, a like on the video for me because this has taken me bloody ages to sim because I've got so many leagues loaded and it's it's taken me a long time to record. We're not even we're 17 years in. I've got more than 17 more years simmed and we've I've been recording nearly an hour. This is gonna be well long. I've trimmed this down. Right, well, okay, with the interest of that, let's jump three years to 2043. I'm not changing costume again. If if, if he's gone from Inter, we're staying in this shirt. We're staying in it. He's still there. No, he's not. Luke Campbell was at Inter. He left Inter to go and become the manager of Barcelona in 2041, two years ago. Matt Campbell left Real Madrid to go and become the manager of Inter. So let's have a look at his milestones. So he became Real Madrid manager, uh, guided Real Madrid to an unbeaten season in the first division in 2041. I didn't notice that. The manager of the year, undefeated. They just drew 10. Unbelievable. So hang about. He, uh, unbeaten as Real Madrid manager. Yeah, he's left Real Madrid, gone to Inter, won Serie A in 2042, unbeaten. He's just had two back-to-back -back seasons, unbeaten. And AC Milan went unbeaten as well. Oh my God, you couldn't make it up. What the f hell is going on? I will have to bleep that. But I am absolutely gobsmacked. This is insane. Have you ever seen anything like this an unbeaten season with one team finishing in second then the following season going to a different club getting an unbeaten season again winning the league and second place also unbeaten <sighs> poor empoli one win Davy me i'm absolutely floored by that i can't get over it what the hell he's also won the italian cup manager of the year i'm literally out of breath i'm, I'm literally out of breath there Luke Campbell's gone to Barcelona then. So he left Inter Milan because he wanted to. He won Syria. So he they both won Syria with Inter Milan. Although his brother did came in and said, anything you can do, I can do better. I'll do it undefeated. Although he never won La Liga. And Luke's gone in and won 
not only has he won the Spanish Cup twice, he's also won La Liga. Real Madrid did win um, in 2041-42, but he left, had Matt by then. Yeah, 2041 he went to Inter. So, for that, 200 out of 200 in terms of comfortability. Luke's at 196. I, they're both getting paid exactly the same, £155,000 a week. One year left on Luke's deal, two years left on Matt's deal. Um, I'm absolutely floored by what's just happened. I hope you guys are too. Have you ever seen anything of the like? If you have, in your saves or whatever, you need to get in the comments now and explain what happened. The longer the better. Don't think it's going to be too long, I won't read it. But trust me, I do read all comments and I try and get back to as many of them as I can. So if you do let me know in, uh, below, be as detailed as you want because I am so interested He's catching my breath. Let's, I'm going to go through another three years to 2046 because these three-year jumps are insane. <laughs> Neither of them are where they were. Luke's left Barcelona. He went and became the manager of Tottenham for a few months and now he's at Benfica. So what's happened then? So he left He left Barcelona in 2044 after another season. Remember, he'd have won the league the last three years in a row, right? So he left um, and then he went to Tottenham and got sacked very quickly. Uh, it's six months he was sacked. Some of that was the off-season. Hyde as the Benfica manager in 2045. Portuguese Premier League champion in 2046. Now, Benfica were three-time champions, so you, you get the feeling that David Smith had left to go and become the manager elsewhere. And he'd gone to, gone to Rennes, who are dominating France. Okay, I did not expect that. PSG down in fifth. Have Rennes had a tycoon? We're in 2046, to be fair. Me, Min Sik Kim... Takes over as a tycoon in 2045. Well, Ren were already absolutely uh, dominating. Daniel Reynolds in 2024 was a tycoon takeover. He's left in 2036. Consortiums and that were taken over, but the, the, the foundations were laid and they were doing pretty well. And then another tycoon's come in. So Ren are absolutely dominating League Earth. Winning six in a row. So I'll forgive him for leaving Benfica to go to Ren. That was a weird aside. So Luke Campbell, yes, he's won the Portuguese league after getting sacked by Tottenham, unfortunately. Uh, the managers, he was there for 181 days. That is not good enough, is it? As you can see, his brother was there for over five years. Nearly six years he was there. Speaking of his brother, he spent nearly six years at Tottenham. Loyalty means absolutely sod all to him, though, because he's only the manager of bloody Arsenal. Nearly swore again. Only got to bleep everything, kind of right uh, milestones. So he's come to Inter from Inter, Serie A champions, Italian Cup winners. Departed in 2043. Hired as Arsenal manager, Community Shield winner, Premier Division champion, FA Cup winner, Community Shield winner. So he's in the Worldwide Hall of Fame. Steve Mandanda is two-time Manager of the Year winner for Leeds. Sorry, he won it there as well. Pep at Arsenal. Oh, I don't know what's going. On. Sam Jowsey, get out. Steve Mandanda at Leeds, who. Leeds have won three Premier Leagues. I can't believe it. Roberto Carlos. Yeah, signed not too long ago. Of course, the, the foundations were laid by Luke Campbell. He did such a job at Leeds that he never got appreciated and he left to go to PSV to try and take a step forward. When And then Steve Mandanda came in, just sat tight for four years while those players that were there became superstars. He probably sold a few, brought a few in, but the core of the team was bought by Luke Campbell and he's now a multiple-time Premier Division champion. And they've won the Champions League in 2040-41. He's won a Champions League. Leipzig again winning the Champions League. Oh, I don't know. This has been mad. This has been an absolute mental one. Look at that. Luke's only on £13,750 at Benfica. Jump another three years. 55 years old we want them to be. Okay, so Luke Campbell's now unemployed. I mean... He's not unemployed, sorry. He's the manager of England. He's got an international job. Right, Luke Campbell. He was at Benfica. He then left to go become the manager of Villarreal. Um, and then he took the England job in 2048. So he's been the England manager for a year. Oh, I do apologise to all the Ralph Watch fans out there, but we have not done a Ralph Watch, and I doubt he'll, he'll be about. Ralph Hasenhutl is no longer knocking about in the game, so I can't even see. Didn't even go become the Austrian manager. Anyway, Luke Campbell's been there for 313 days. He's the current England manager. Uh, England as a team are second in the world rated three World Cups so they've won in 2038 and 2046 so the current World Cup winners and the current European champions so Dominic Thompson has resigned and he's just quit as everything won the Euros Andros Townsend won the World Cup as England manager he's now the manager of Spurs 
What a manager he is. He's insane. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he's the manager of England. Uh, Matt Campbell has gone to Barcelona, having left Arsenal three uh, years ago. So he left Arsenal. Didn't ever win the Premier League with Arsenal. Um, obviously, his Tottenham roots were still speaking to him, I guess. I had his Barcelona manager, and he's done sod all at Barcelona. His brother Luke won loads with Barcelona. So... That's a bit disappointing for him. It's all about Real Madrid, who are absolutely dominating things in Spain at the moment. Ren have just won a Champions League. Leipzig have won a couple of Champions Leagues as well. Leipzig won two in a row there. Two for Dortmund as well. So English teams not doing great in the last five years. Only Leeds getting to the final five years ago. Atalanta losing to Leipzig. Inter representing. And Ren losing last year, but then beating Bayern Munich this year. Very, very good. Leeds beating AC Milan as well. So, uh, Luke unemployed Matt with Barcelona. Well, let's go to 2050, a nice round figure to see if Luke can get himself a job. He's not got, he has got a job. He's the England manager. He's the England manager. Right, three years, 2052. Luke Campbell's the manager of Inter. Luke Campbell's come back to Inter Milan. He left England in 2050 to go back to Benfica, re resigned as manager of England after a run of bad results, went back to Benfica, won the Portuguese Super Cup and the Portuguese League Cup, went from there back to Inter Milan. So he's literally going back through some of his old clubs. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to... Um, hey, I'd love, to, love him to, I'd love him to go back to Leeds and win something with Leeds. He deserves it. 198 out of 200, 150k a week at Inter. Matt Campbell, also in Serie A, has gone to Napoli. He left Barcelona in 2051. He'd been at Barcelona for five years where he won nothing. Won manager of the year, but only won the Spanish Cup twice. Didn't manage to win the league, unfortunately. Just Real Madrid domination. Hmm. And he's won the Italian Cup with Napoli and Inter finishing in second. And it's going to be AC Milan. It is AC Milan who have won the league well. Matthias Whipple. What a name, Whipple. Love that. The Zerbi's in charge of AC. Aston Villa losing out to Arsenal on goal difference, having finished, having won it the season before. Leeds in third. Leeds won five Premier Leagues in a row. Ryan Mason's in charge. Steve Mandanda was there for 20 years, right? Piggybacking off Luke's great stuff. Literally came in straight after him. Overview. Steve Mandanda, a legend. Not even in favoured personnel. Genuinely sickening genuinely sickening right so we're moving through to let's go to 20 we'll go another three 2055 again it's all change so matt campbell is now down at 196 luke campbell's up at 200 he left into milan in 2054 so he's gonna become the manager of wolves why wolves well they're second in the premier league vincent company was there for a bit um landmarks finances uh, 2034, Joe Suzuki became, it was a tycoon takeover. Scaled down the funding in 45 and 51, but they've managed to get Luke Campbell in, who, has he done anything? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Finished second most recently. So, departed into it, so he did nothing at into it, that little stint. Three years, he's gone to Wolves, and Leeds have won the league again. I can't believe it. I'm, I can't believe how much he did for them. He's, he set them up for you. And maybe Steve Mandanda did a good job. But there was a few players. That we saw like three or four players that were phenomenal signings. It was just, I suppose it was just a bit of luck. Because they've, they've had chances to do that elsewhere. And they did do some great signings elsewhere, didn't they? We saw, um, who was it? Oh, was it Matt at Tottenham? Where he was there for a, a few years and he did some great signings. And Tottenham did all right for a bit. But where are they now? Fourth. Like, yeah. I guess it's just because Leeds and Walt Leeds, you don't expect to be up there. Because they start off in the championship. Tottenham has there or thereabouts. So when you see Tottenham fourth, you're like, meh. You see Leeds in like fourth, fifth, you go, they play Leeds, doing all right, aren't they? Anyway, yeah, so he's gone to Wolves. Is he going to do anything at Wolves? Well, probably not. Uh, but Matt Campbell's gone to Wren. After Napoli, he went to Wren. He he won the Champions League with Napoli. He won the Champions League with Napoli and he's gone and won the double in France with Wren, the league and cup. And look at that. Two points he won against PSG. Wren have been winning it. Wren have won the league for the last 15 years in a row. And... I think everyone's starting to hate them. Ren are the new PSG. Rens are the new PSG. Look at that. Yeah. The first time they won it, they were the hero. Now they've lived long enough to become the villain. 2055 then. We are closing in. They are 61 years old. There will not be long left in this experiment. We're going to jump through now to 2060. A lovely five-year jump to see probably the last jump, probably the last stop off. If they're not retired by that point, they'll be retiring very soon after. I would have thought. Well, Look at that. Luke Campbell is retiring. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Wait, he was at Wolves. 
He was, he, was at, he was at Wolves, did nothing, became the Pisa manager, both in Syria, fine, so Pisa had a tycoon takeover. They became the Leeds manager in 2058, but Leeds have won nothing. Leeds have won absolutely nothing in the last couple of years. Oh, and he finished 10th. Oh, no. Oh, the romantic side of me wanted him to... I'm just sorry, I've just been distracted by cafe. I'm not nipping in there for a cup of tea. Um, Bobo Altman. Klim Devo... Kim, Klim Devo... Um, why, do we, why have I even tried... Why have I tried to say his name? Kern Elcock, Pedro Arse. Right. Oh, I'm just sorry. I feel really, I feel really deflated because he'd gone to Leeds, back to where it all began, ish. And it'd have been great for him to win a trophy at Leeds in the final knockings of his career. Disappointing, disappointing. So, so in terms of trophy, so he'd be he'd promoted twice. He won the Dutch Cup. He won the Dutch League. He won the German Super Cup, does it count? Won the Bundesliga with Dortmund. He then came to United and won the Europa League Super Cup. Italian Serie A with Inter. He won the Spanish Cup and Spanish Cup twice and the Spanish League once. Went to Tottenham, got sacked, uh, won the Premier League in Portugal, uh, won, won the Portuguese League Cup as well, went back to, and then that was it. That was the last time he had a bit of a success in Portugal. Back to Inter, didn't do great. Went to Wolves, then Pisa, then back to Leeds where it would have been beautiful for him to win a league, a cup, anything. Even if it was just a Carabao Cup, just to say, I finally won something with Leeds. They do say never go back. I said that earlier, and he did go back, and I just feel sad now. We've still got Matt to, uh, looking on. He was back at Spurs. He went back in 2058. He actually went and had a spell at Dortmund as well. So, Ren, he won Liga Uber Eat second uh and then he left to go and become the Dortmund manager, won the DFB Pokal. Uh, then won the Bundesliga, fair play to him. The Bundesliga was his, well, three in a row. He, he won there. And then with Spurs, he's won two Carabao Cups and two Premier Divisions. I'd say Matt's probably won more trophies. I'd say he's won more trophies. He's won a Champions League as well. I don't think Luke has. Um, has he won a Champions League? Yeah, he won a Champions League with Liverpool. And he won the Champions League with Napoli as well. So he's won two Champions Leagues. He's won a lot more domestic leagues. Probably similar-ish amount of domestic cups. But do you know what? The sad thing is, only two Champions Leagues between them in a very long career. Matt's still going. Luke's about to retire. So let's say bye-bye to Luke. The sadness that is, he was sacked by the team that he made. He, pro he propelled Leeds into the stratosphere. He should never have left. He shouldn't have left Pitt to go to PSV. He should have stuck around another couple of seasons with Leeds and he would have he would have been the club legend, not Steve Mandanda. Let's go to 2061 and see if uh, Matt's still there. So Luke, Luke's still here. He's gone to Brentford. Oh, he's a scout. He's a scout. Scout and director of football. I mean, no wonder he's a scout. Look at his attributes. Look at his attributes. He's a 200 out of 200 scout. Getting 11 grand a week. Preferred job director of football. Brentford have hired him as a scout. You cheeky bastards. Uh, Napoli want Matt Campbell back. Napoli want Matt Gamble back. Uh, come back, Matt. Whatever we said, whatever we did, we didn't mean it. We just want you back for good. Want you back. And understandably so. He's just won the Champions League. That was last season. Beg your pardon. He won the Champions League last season. He's come second this season in the league. But we hadn't ticked over and the Champions League hadn't happened last time. This, uh, this season is Roma versus AC in the final. But Tottenham won it last year, so he's won another Champions League. That's three Champions Leagues with three. That's three Champions Leagues with three different clubs. Matt Campbell has had the better career, the more successful brother, and he's still going. One more year. I say, okay, so Luke's gone to Aston Villa as a scout now. Fine. Matt Campbell was sacked as the manager of Tottenham. Tottenham sacked. They've sacked both Campbell brothers. Revenge for him leaving to go to Liverpool all those years ago. They finished fourth this most recent season. Leeds down in 12th. So their, their, their spell's come to an end. Now Steve Mandanda's gone. He's a free agent. Will anyone sign him at 68 years old? No, he's still unemployed in 2063. And he's still unemployed as a manager. Luke Campbell's now gone to Tottenham as a scout. They sacked him as a manager. He's gone back as a scout when they've sacked him as a, <laughs> he sacked his brother a few years ago. Who's still unemployed two years on. And he's gone. Matt Campbell has left the building. Matt Campbell, 42, uh, 40 and 4, first, seconds and thirds. 
he Norwich, he was good. Southampton, he was decent. Tottenham, he was fantastic. Liverpool, meh. Sporting, Real Madrid, he did all right. Inter Milan, he did very well. Arsenal, Barcelona, he play, he managed some teams, didn't he? Old Matt Campbell, and he's retired at seventy-one. Having had the better career than his brother Luke, who's still clinging on as a scout, but that's the end of today's experiment. I hope you've had a blast, ladies and gentlemen. And I do apologise. I don't apologise. It's been long, actually, because. I feel like it's warranted being this long. I've had an absolute ball making this one. It's been so entertaining. I hope you felt that energy and I hope you've you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Because if you have, then my job's done. If, any, if I've missed anything during this while I've glossed over things, please do let me know in the comments down below. Any other ideas for experiments, manager related especially, because some of the manager ones are so much fun. If you've got any manager ideas, let me know. Any other ideas as well, let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay on the channel and watch something else while you're here. Although you've probably been here for about an hour or so, so I do appreciate if you want to leave my dulcet northern tones. But most importantly, gang, do take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.